The rotten state of Eurozone lenders means banking union is a distant prospect at best. That's according to Reuters Breaking Views editor Hugo Dixon, and he joins me now. Hugo, good to see you again. Now, you say um, banking union is a distant prospect. Now, yeah. uh, EU Commissioner José Manuel Barroso said last week he thinks it will uh, come to pass next year. What mm. are you seeing that he's not? Well, I mean, obviously, it's, uh, he, he's, a, he's a big optimist. He's a great sort of believer in more Euro projects. And so he has a sort of bias in that direction. But I think that when, when I look at it, I think that, I mean, the, the, the basic analysis is that the Germans have the whip hand here. And the Germans won't want there to be a full banking union, which is supervision, bailouts, um, and, and deposit insurance um, unless it happens in the right order. And the right order for them is you've got to have the supervision and the rules come first. Once everything's settled down, then maybe we can talk about putting some of our money on the line. It's, and there is a hell of a lot to clean up first. It's supervision and rules as far as Germany is concerned, but there's also an element they want some sort of control over this, as they are the paymasters. Um, Is that not fair to say? Well, I think that they certainly want supervision and rules, and they certainly want the rules to be, you know, rules that they can uh, accept. And, and, and in terms of supervision, I mean, Angela Merkel said last week that she uh, was worried about the supervision in European banking, and one solution could be to give the European Central Bank the control. Now, the European Central Bank is based in Frankfurt, the current pan-European banking regulator is the European Banking Authority. That's based in London. And so, in a sense, even if it's not the Germans doing the regulation, if it's actually in Frankfurt, they may feel more comfortable with that. Is this something that the ECB has uh, shown any indication that it's prepared to think about? Well, yes. I mean, the, 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 the vice president of the European Central Bank, the... Um, uh, Constancio, the, the, the Portuguese um, central banker, he also said last week that he, in his personal view, um, the ECB could fulfil this role. Uh, the ECB itself hasn't taken a, an official position on this, but Constancio said that you, 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 it was even there within the tr treaties and, 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 and that people have said that actually the supervisory aspect of this could be done just by a unanimous vote of the governments. You wouldn't need a new treaty to achieve that. But as I say, supervision is just the part of the, the process. You then have to get to the question of, of um, bondholders. Are you going to bail in the bondholders if there's a banking crisis, which is what the Spanish are proposing to do with... Uh, are you going to bail them in, which, which has rarely been done, or are you going to bail them out, which is what the Spanish are proposing to do with this mother of all bailouts with, with Bankier. And the problem is, if you bail out bondholders, um, it's very difficult then to turn to taxpayers in foreign countries and say, well, we've decided to bail out our bondholders. Can you put some money in yourself to fill the hole? That's very, very hard to square it's politically. Not going to go down well at all. Um, if, as you say, I mean, clearly there's a lot to be cleaned up, a lot to be done with uh, the Eurozone banks, um, if we do ever get to banking union, it may take several years, yeah. will it be past its sell-by date by then? I mean, will it not be too late? Well, it will be too late to deal with the current crisis, but it, it, I mean, the lack of a proper banking regulation component and crisis resolution component of monetary union was one of the flaws in the initial design. So uh, it won't come in time, but it will still be perhaps useful for the next crisis. Well, the next crisis brings me to my final question. Uh, what, can trouble, what can governments do when they can no longer get their own banks to buy their own debt? I mean, it's a $6 million question. Um, do you have an answer for that one? Well, no, I mean, as we, we, you're, you're really putting your, 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 your finger on, on a key point here, which is that... Um, if you have banking union and, and Spanish banks and Italian banks are no longer viewed as Spanish or Italian banks, they're just viewed as European banks, it'll be much harder for their governments to lean on them to get them to buy their own 
debt. And um, they're the only buyers now. Well, at the moment, they're the only buyers. And I think no one's really got a solution to that. But then again, if you say that this is going to take several years, maybe that problem would have been dealt with anyway. Well, several years, uh, hopefully, is enough time for them to think of an answer to that one. Who knows? Hugo, thank Thank you very much. My thanks there to Reuters Breaking Views editor, Hugo Dixon. That's all from us for now. I'm Jamie McGeever. This is Reuters.